Hi, you guys. Welcome to another Reformer workout. 60 minute, the full shebang. Everything from head to toe. All right, so we're going to hit the full body today. You are going to get a little extra emphasis on those glutes, the back body, cardio. Okay, so and those legs, they're going to be burning a little bit. Abs too. Always those abs. All right, so we're going to hit it all, though. I want you to be prepared for a little extra cardio in this one because your heart rate will get up on several of these moves. So be prepared for that and be ready for it because we're going to charge through it together. All you need for today's workout is your jump board. That's going to be up right away, ready to go. So we're not going to mess with it at all during the workout. It's going to stay up for the entire class. So that's kind of nice, right? We can just leave that up there. You're going to need your resistance band. Okay, so I have a medium weight resistance loop today. That's medium weight is kind of nice because it's going to be around the feet and the legs, mostly a little bit around the arms. When it is around the feet and it is around the arms, a lighter band can always be used in place of the bigger band. But I, I like the medium resistance because it can be used all around, right? If it's too heavy, it gets difficult to put it on the feet or arms. And if it's too light, then on the legs, it doesn't add much resistance at all. So medium weight's kind of nice. So that's what I have with me today. My reformer box is on the left side of my reformer. So if I'm looking from front to rear, it is lined up with my carriage on the left-hand side. And that, if you have that set up the same way, that way when I cue directionally, you'll be right there with me, okay? We're gonna start on one blue spring, which is one light spring on my balanced body reformer. So if you have a balanced body, your spring should match up pretty good. I do have a yellow spring on my reformer that I purchased. It's an extra light spring. I purchased it right away just knowing I was gonna use it a lot. So we are gonna be using that today. So if you have an extra light spring, fantastic. If you don't, I will try to remember to speak to that so that you can make your spring adjustments as necessary. This is Orbit. <laughs> he may be in and out of the video a little bit. He's new to our family, so he's still exploring around. Let's just hope he doesn't hop in my well. <laughs> um, and that's it. I have my headrest down. You can have it up to start. We aren't gonna be doing any bridging today, so if you wanna have that headrest up, when it does need to be down, I will always mention that. Um, and that's it. All right, I already got my timer going. I'm gonna keep myself on track with you guys, all right? 60 minutes, let's hit it. Okay, take your blue resistance band or whatever color it is, it doesn't have to be blue. It is going to be in your hands as you lie down on the reformer, okay? So come on down. On your back, we're going to start supine. We're going to start with a jumping sequence. That band is going to come around the arches of your feet, okay? So I don't have grip socks on today for that reason. I just find I can hold on to the band a little bit better without my socks. But do whatever you need to do. We are going to be moving this band around, so know that it's not always going to be around your feet. It is going to feel a little more aggressive right off the get-go. Also know this is our only jumping sequence in the class, so we won't be jumping again, but the jump board will not get in your way, so you are all good. All right, feet are flat on the jump board. We're gonna press all the way out to two straight legs. I want you to draw that belly button up and in. Arms are gonna be long by your side to start. We are gonna take an ab curl, but not right away. I want to get you moving first. We're gonna keep tension on that band. So my feet are hip width distance apart. We're gonna keep tension on the band. As we exhale, we bend those knees. Inhale, take it out for a little jump. So right here, all I am doing is holding tension on my band. Okay, I'm not pulsing out on it, nothing else. I'm just holding my legs hip width, pointing those toes as I leave, and then landing where my heel makes full connection with the jump board. I'm not jumping through my toes. All right, now, big stickler on jumps. You guys know this already if you've done my other workouts. I want you to think about that neutral spine. Okay, so I'm not mashing my low back into the carriage. I'm drawing my belly button up and in between my rib cage. My ribs are closed like a book. Okay, I've got that neutral pelvis, so both hip bones are shining straight up and down. All right, and right here, my inhale takes me out, my exhale lands me. So it's never a shove through the legs. I know your legs are strong, right? But right here, we wanna utilize the core. That's the goal here, to keep that core active as we jump. So let's inhale, making full use of that internal length. Exhale as you land. Last four, we're gonna keep changing it up. Last three, good, you've got two, 
Last one. Now, you're going to take your legs wide and keep them wide. Okay, so we're still parallel. I've got a ton more tension on that band. You're going to feel it through those abductors, that lateral line of the leg. All right, so hold it there. Hold the tension wide. Feet are jumping wide. Toes are pointing up. It's that inhale breath out, and it's that exhale to land, toe ball heel. Make that heel connection every time. That's going to challenge the flexibility through the back of your leg, and we want to do that, right? We want to get stronger. We want everything to work a little bit smoother. <laughs> Good, you guys. Hang on. Four. Good. Last three. Whew. Last two. I'm already warm. All right, you guys. Now, we're going to add an out curl, so keep jumping with me. Take those arms, you can interlace them behind the base of your skull and find that ab core curl, or you can reach your arms. So for me, with my shoulder blocks, which tend to annoy me a little bit, I'm gonna reach my arms today. But you can always cradle the skull, okay? So right here, I want you to hold that ab curl as you jump. I'm holding the width on my band. Now I'm gonna add a little pulse out. We're gonna do a little jumping jack. Just with the legs, out and narrow to land out and narrow to land. Now, when I say narrow to land, I don't want your band to get loose. I just want you to bring your legs hip width. So we're pulsing out in air and landing hip width. Hold that ab curl. Space between chin and chest. Open and narrow. Open and narrow. We're here for six. Whew. Five. We're going to be adding an ab twist in four, Good, last three. Good, you've got two. Last one. All right, now right here, keep jumping. Pull your left knee in. Right hand reaches for my left ankle. Left knee only. We're starting just with that left knee. Pull it in, reach. So I'm doing those sprinter arms. My left elbow pulls back as my right fingers reach for my ankle or my toes. They're not going to reach them. I don't want them to reach them but I want you to find the twist through that right rib basket. Twist. Now, if your hands are behind your head, you're just twisting opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Okay, it's only that left knee that's pulling in. You're here for six. Good. Five. Good. Last four. Inhale, breath out. Last three. We're going to switch legs in two. Whew. Last one. Switch legs. Right knee comes in. Left ribs twist towards that right inner thigh. Twist. Whoo. Twist. All right. We were here quite long on the other side because I kept talking. Keep using your breath. Okay. You're here for eight. Twist. Seven. Twist. Think mostly about your ribs. Six. You've got five. Last four. Whew. Last three. Good. You've got two. Last one. Pause for just a moment. Okay, set your head down on the carriage, all right? We're going to take our right leg and we're going to hover it. Your band's going to come around your ankles now, so go ahead and let them scooch up. Your right leg is going to hover over the jump board. Your left leg is going to be straight. Okay, we're going to bring back the ab curl. So either hands behind the head or you're going to find that reach and hold. Now, we're jumping on our left leg. Your left knee is going to bend. And in air, I'm going to loop the band and land back on my left foot. Loop the band, come back. So my right foot drops, my left goes up. And I bring the left back down to land. Inhale, loop, and down. Inhale, loop, and down. So my right leg, I'm drawing a circle through that band or with that band. Good. Keeping tension on the band the entire time. Right leg drops, left leg lifts. We land on the left. Good, you guys. Holding tension on that band. Loop that right ankle down. Six. Good. Last five. Keep those ribs pulled together. Four. Last three. Good. You've got two. Last one, we're going to switch legs. Right leg lands. Here we go. Loop the left leg down and back landing on the right. Always landing on the right. That right leg jumps. Inhale, loop, and back. 
Inhale, loop and back. Hold tension on that band. You've got this. Whew. Hold that ab curl. You're here for eight. Good. We got seven. Good. You've got six. We're moving that band to our arms in five. Good. Last four. Good. You've got three. Good. Last two. And last one and bring it all the way in, set your head down. All right, grab that band, take it off, place it on your forearm, so halfway between your elbows and your wrists, okay. Your palms are gonna be facing in. We're gonna bring our elbows down to the carriage, so the band is right across our stomach, okay. I'm holding tension already. I want you to think wrist tracking with elbow, okay. now. We're going to lengthen both legs all the way out one more time. Here we go. All right. From here, we're going to keep the arms down to start. I want you to practice holding tension through the upper body. We're going to exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, take it out for that straight hop. All right. So head, neck, and shoulders are down. We're back where we started, except now the band is around our forearms. Okay. So you're here for six. We're going to add a reach of the arms in five. Four, good, last three, good, we've got two, last one, keep jumping, extend your arms up, hold them up there. All right, now, we're going to add a little jack of the legs and a jack of the arms, so it's a little pulse out and into land, out, into land, pulse out and in, good, out and in, landing four inches apart, parallel with my feet. Toes are shining up, fingertips are shining up. I'm pulsing out in that band with my back. I want you to feel your back. Pull your ribs tight. Ribs narrow and funnel into the pelvis as we jump. You're here for six. Whew. Last five. We're going to add an ab curl in four. Good, you guys. This is the end of your jump sequence with that ab curl. Three. Good. Last two. Last one, keep jumping, add your ab curl. So now you're reaching those arms. Okay, so this one, not really an option to put the hands behind the head. I want you to hang on with me because this is your last layer. You're still jacking the arms and the legs. That's it, whoo, hang on. Eight, good, you got seven. Open up that chin and chest, six. Good, you got five, last four. Good, we've got three. We're moving to our box in two. Last one. And bring it all the way in. Whew. Warm. I'm warm already. I feel the sweat already. <laughs> all right, you guys, stay on that blue, but you're going to add a yellow spring. So blue and yellow. All right, now we're going to leave the carriage alone for just a minute. Come on up. You're coming to your box. So you're going to take your band, and we're going to place it around the thighs. So go ahead and step into your band like a pair of pants. It's coming up above the knee. Now, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I should have. You can do all of this entire workout without your band. So if you want to use body weight only, by all means, this is your workout. You do body weight only. All right, step up on your box. Now, you are going to be over to the right-hand side of the box. Your feet are hip-width di distance apart. So I want you to make sure you're standing on those two legs, nice and tall, nice and straight, sternum over pubic bone. Now, my right leg is going to step back, okay? So I'm going to bring my arms into a 90-90 bend. As I step back with my right leg, my left arm is going to go forward, my right arm is going to go back, and I'm going to lift my left foot. Come back up, draw the knee up. Come back, lift my left foot, and step up back to the box. So I'm stepping down with my right, lifting my left. Stepping up on my left, lifting my right. Stepping down with my right, lifting my left, and up. So now we're going to pick up that pace. Okay, little step ups right here. I want you to think about the right so as picking up that leg. Okay, so that right so as that runs along the spine, attaches to that inner thigh, it's responsible for pulling that knee in front of the hip. So I want you to think about that as you step up here. Here goes my band. <laughs> this is where the fabric bands are a little nicer. Good. Hang on, you guys. Ignore the band. Whew. You've got four. Good. Last three. We're going to stay up on the box. In two. 
All right, last one. You're going to stay up on the box. Now, I'm going to fix my band real quick. That right leg, I want you to get close enough to the edge of the box that your right foot is hanging off the side of the box. So it's like I'm standing up on two legs, but the right leg is dangling off. I'm going to flex my foot today like I'm standing on my two legs. Okay, hands are going to come to prayer. From here, I'm going to reach my hands forward as I come into a squat, so a single leg squat. So it looks like this. My sits bones are going to reach back. My arms are going to dart forward. That's going to provide a little bit of counterbalance. My right foot is still flexed. My hips are level. And then I come back up. Lateral reach with my right leg. Single leg squat, arms dart forward. Find that reach with your left sitting bone. Lots of balance right here. Come back up, pulling through center. Lateral lift with my right leg. Find that single leg squat, reaching back with both sitting bones. Lift back up. Now reaching with the side of my right ankle, I lift that leg. So my toes stay pointed forward on all of this movement right here. No external rotation. So there's a lot of balance involved. I want you to find that midline and work slow and controlled. It's not a race. Okay, you should not be going any faster than me here. If anything, slow it down a little bit. Good, and then bring it back up on that inhale. Lateral lift. Go four more. Single leg squat. Dart those hands forward. That's going to provide counterbalance for you. Lift it up. Lateral lift. Last three. Single leg squat. Inhale, pull it up. Lateral lift. Good, last two. Single leg squat. Whoo, that left booty. <laughs> right, we feel it. Oh, there goes my balance. Lateral lift. Good, last one. Single leg squat. Reach, reach, reach. Come back up. Now just your lateral lift. So I want you to think about keeping your left knee soft. That's your leg on the box, right? That left knee is soft. Your right side, you are lifting with your abductors. So I want you to think about leading with the outside ankle bone. Okay, toes are pointed forward. Keep your weight center, press your palms together to help you find that connection through the midline. You're here for six, Woo! five. Good, you've got this, four. We're gonna travel with that right leg a little bit more. Last two. Okay, on your next one, you're gonna let that leg dangle off the side, flex that foot. Now, you're gonna point the right toe Sweep it forward to tap the front corner of the box, and now you're going to semicircle it around, tap the back, around to the front, around to the back. Okay, strong palms pressed together for that prayer position. Okay, I want you to think about sweeping the leg. Your femur bone, okay, that's the part of the thigh bone, the top of the thigh bone, that big round ball that hooks into the hip socket, rolls around in there. We want to keep that nice and mobile. It's meant to be a mobile joint, very mobile. So we want to keep it that way. Okay, so we're lubricating that hip socket. We are here for six. Whew. Last five. You're going to feel that stabilizing leg, your left leg, your left booty. Good. You've got five, I think. <laughs> Last four. I lost count already. Isn't that horrible? Last three Pilates teachers can't count. <laughs> Last two. We're so focused on the cues. That's what it is. All the way around and forward. Now sweep that leg back under the hip, flex the foot, and now you're going to do a single leg plie on that left leg. Little down and up. One inch down and up. Eight. Press those palms together. Seven. We've got six. Good. Last five. You've got four. Whew. Last three. You can do this. Lift with that inner thigh. Last two. And last one. And come all the way down off your box. Oh, my goodness, that little left booty right there. All right, we're going to do some single leg drivers. So you're going to kneel on that box. Keep your band around your thigh. So, okay, just reshift it if it got it, if it took a mind of its own and did whatever it wanted. <laughs> all right, we're going to kneel, four-point kneel on that box. Your hands are going to come to the front edge of the box. Your right knee is going to stay on the box. Your left foot is going to come to your shoulder block. Now, my toes are going to face the middle of the carriage. So the instep of my foot is facing the carriage. So my inner thigh 
shines down towards the box on that left leg. I'm externally rotated. Now, from here, I'm going to draw my belly button up, and in that core is solid. It's going to control my pelvis. It's going to keep everything quiet. My shoulder girdle nice and stable. I'm breathing into my back body. On your inhale, you're going to drive the carriage out. Exhale, slowly control it in. Inhale, drive it out, stabilize your pelvis. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, out. So notice the band, right? The boob resistance band we have on. That's just providing a little more resistance, a little more tension, okay? Doing this whole workout, you're going to feel the core. You're going to feel those stabilizers. Everything is going gonna, is gonna to be tough as it is, okay? So if you need to lose the band, you always can do that. Good. If you have it on a one-sided move, like right now, I'm going to ask you to have it on the other side too. Okay, so think about that. Good. You're here for forward. Drive strong. Control it in. Good. Drive on the concentric part of that mo movement, right? And then on that eccentric, we're going to slowly bring it back. Good. Three. Slowly bring it back. Good. Two. Slowly bring it back. Good. Last one, you're going to hold it out there. Now we're going to do a one-inch pulse. One inch in and out. Bending the knee one inch in and out. For eight, whew, seven, you've got this. Six, don't lock out those elbows. Keep the core tight. You've got five. Last four. You've got three. Whew. Last two. Last one. Bring it in with control. Now. We're going to do this with a bird dog. Of course, right? We can't just end there. <laughs> so keeping your left hand on the box, your right arm is going to reach forward. Okay? Now, same movement. Inhale. Send the carriage out. Exhale. Bring it back slow. Send it out strong. Bring it back slow. Right? This is kind of a kneeling version of a scooter. Whoo! Right? Nice and strong. You've got four more after this one. Inhale. Take it out. Exhale, bring it back slow. Last three. Inhale, take it out. Whew. Last two. Inhale, bring it back. Last one. Hold. Now little pulses. One inch in and one inch out. Eight. Seven. Core is tight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And bring it all the way in. Whew. Oh my goodness. That just turned up the sweat dial right there. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, we're going to turn rear facing. We're going to jump with our left leg. Okay. So take off your yellow spring. You're going to keep your blue. All right. Coming on to, and that last move, I should have spoke to this. On that last move, if you didn't have the yellow spring, you would have wanted one red there. So if you do the other side and you weren't sure what to do, or if you want to rewind. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So. Four-point kneel on the carriage facing the rear. Now, my right hand is between my shoulder blocks. My left hand is at the left corner of the carriage. My left leg is going to come to the jump board, okay? So I did lie. This is obviously another jump sequence. <laughs> You're going to inhale and extend the leg all the way out nice and long on the left side. Now, your left foot should be flat. I do not want you guys jumping through the ball of your foot, okay? Puts a lot of emphasis on the front line of the leg, and we are trying to get the back line as well and the core involved all the time. So please be flat-footed here. I want you to level out that leg so your ankle is the same height as your hip. Your right knee is under your hip. Okay, level your pelvis. On your exhale, you're going to soften that left knee. Keep your heel down. Inhale, take it out for a little jump. Okay, so four-point kneel. We're jumping single-legged, so you're only in a three-point position now. We are going to add a little pulse to this in just a second, and we're also going to do it in bird dog, so a little similar to what we just did with that single-leg driver. All right, so right here, I want you to add a little pulse up of that left leg. Jump and pulse up. Jump and pulse up. So it's a little lift right where that glute and hamstring connect. The core is tight, stabilizing the pelvis, right? Shoulder girdle's nice and stable. My shoulders are square to the carriage. You're here for eight. First seven. Good. You've got six. Find that control. Five. 
You've got four. Whoo! Last three. Good. You've got two. Now, we're going to add something before we take that bird dog. You're going to bring it all the way in. Bring your knee under your hip. Now you're going to do a fire hydrant with that left leg. You're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. So just that hydrant. You're going to feel your right booty. Okay, six. Good. You're here for five. Your knee and ankle lift together. They stay together. Your inner thigh shines down towards the carriage for three. Now we're going to add the jump back, two, and the hydrant. It's going to be two jumps to two fire hydrants. So bring your left foot back to the jump board. Lengthen out. Here we go. Bend that left knee, jump, and pulse up. Jump and pulse up. Now land and come all the way in to hydrants. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Bring your foot back to the jump board. Lengthen out. Bend the knee. Jump and pulse up. Jump and pulse up. Bring it all the way in to hydrants. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more like that. Lengthen out. Bend the knee and jump and pulse up. Jump and pulse up. Bring it all the way in. Lower the knee, hydrant, and down. Open that inner thigh and down. Bring your foot to the jump board one more time. Lengthen. Bend the knee. Jump, pulse up. Jump, pulse up. Bring it all the way in. Two hydrants. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now bring your leg back to the jump board. Lengthen out. Extend your right arm. Whoo, boy, here we go. Bend that left knee slightly. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. Guys, so you are shaky here. I'm shaky. Maybe you're not shaky. <laughs> I hope you are shaky. So take this slow. As you jump in bird dog, it gets easier, okay? So this is one where you are not going to shove through the foot, okay? You are going to think about length here. Whoo! You're here for six and five. Good, you got four. Last three. Good, and two. Now, can you add a pulse of the arm and the leg? Arm and leg pulse up. Now, I want you to think more about length and less about lift. You're here for six. Good, you're here for five. You're going to feel that left tricep. Four. Whoo! Three. Good, you've got two. Last one, and bring it all the way in. Woo, okay. <laughs> After every sequence, you hear me? I feel like, woo, it is that day, a day, a day. All right, you guys, we're coming back to the box. I want to make sure I don't forget anything here. Yes, okay. So kneel back on your box. Keep your band around your thigh. You are going to bring your left forearm down on the box, but I want you to make sure that it is perpendicular to your body, okay? So I have it in front of my body like this, not like this, like this. Okay, at the front edge of that box, your right arm is your hand is gonna choke up on your strap. Okay, so you're on one blue. It's gonna feel a little heavy, right? Yes, okay. Right from here, you are gonna lengthen your left leg out as well. So you're in a bird dog, right? Right arm is extended. Left leg is extended. Now I want you to drop your left leg so your big toe is connected to the floor. From here, you're going to do a lat pull on your right side and a leg lift on your left. So here we go. We're going to pull the strap, lift the leg, and lower. Good. Exhale. Pull the strap, lift the leg, and lower. Whoo! Pull the strap, lift the leg, and lower. Good, so nice with control. I want you to pause when you pull that strap in. You've got six and lower. Good, last five and lower. Good, you've got four and lower. Last three, we're gonna be holding our pull in two. Last two, good, one more, hold it up there. Hold it, now my leg only, tap, and lift. You're holding your lat pull on the right, lifting and lowering that left leg for eight, whoo, for seven. Good, you've got six, last five. Good, you've got four, last three, 
and two, last one, and bring it all the way down. Whoo! Okay, guys, hang up that strap. That was a quick one because we're going on to our back on that box. My mic doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Can you tell? That's because I'm all slippery. Okay, let me fix that. All right, keep your band on your thighs. Right, let's double check here. All right, come on to your back. We are going to be moving the band, so let's do that now. We're going to move the band down to the feet. All right, come all the way down on your back. I'm seated on my box, rear facing. So lie down. We're not going to use the carriage for this. All right, we're on our back. We're going to do a dead bug. So arms are going to come up over your chest, straight up to the ceiling, palms facing in, fingertips long, my knees over my hips. My legs are in tabletop. Now, because I have the band on my feet, I am holding tension on the resistance band. So my feet have to be hip width distance apart. Flex your feet. Okay, here we go. We're going to find one ab curl. So on your exhale, you're going to lift the tips of the shoulder blades up and hold. All right, so now I'm engaged through that front wall of the abdominals. From here, I'm going to extend only my right arm overhead and my left leg. So on my inhale, I'm going to press through the band, keep the right knee over your hip, and bring the left leg and the right arm back to start. Inhale, lengthen out that right arm, left leg, hold, and bring them back to start. So my right knee is not invited to move with that band. I want you to keep that knee locked in place as you press through the band to extend your left leg. Okay, your left glute should tighten with that extension. Your core is strong. Good, bring it back. You've got six. Lengthen and bring it back. You've got five. Lengthen. We're going to hold it out there in four. Find your reach. Whoo! We've got three. Press through that band. Space between your chin and chest. Last two. Good, you guys. On your next one, you're going to hold it. Reconnect to that ab curl, hold it, hold it. Now, we're gonna pulse up, but I want you to think of your body like a V or like a suitcase. You're gonna pulse both the leg and the chest. Okay, you're curling up, you're deepening that, that lift. Okay, knee is, right knee is still over the hip. You're here for six, last five. Good, you've got four, last three. Good, last two, think of yourself like a suitcase. Last one, and bring it all the way in and down. Oh, okay, keep the band around your feet. Your feet are going to come to the floor now. Okay, arms are going to come back up over the chest. Now we're going to roll up to a squat. We got a little uh, combination sequence here. So feet are hip width apart. We're going to roll up by nodding the chin, pulling the belly button up and in. Try to keep your feet connected to the floor, not like me. Come up to a squat, hands in prayer. Step with your left leg. Step wide. Come back in. Sit on your box. Make sure the box is there. <laughs> Sit on the box. Roll all the way back. Arms over your chest. Good. Exhale. Nod the chin round the spine. Lift it up. Lift into your squat. Hands in prayer. Step with your left. Step back. Sit on the box. Roll back. Good. Here we go. Exhale. Nod the chin. Roll it up. Find your squat. Hands to prayer. Step out with your left. Step in with your left. Sit on the box, roll back. Two more like that, we're going to add on. Exhale, nod the chin, roll it up. Find prayer. Step out, step in. Sit down, roll back. Whew. One more just like that, roll it up. Find prayer. Step out, step in, sit down, roll back. We're going to add on. Oh, yes. Good, roll it up. Come on up, find prayer. Now just those lateral steps in and out with left foot only. Stepping out, find a full weight shift. Step in, step out, step in for eight. Whew, for seven. Good, you've got six. Last five, we've got the tilt of the torso. Four, because those sitting bones are reaching for the box. Three, core is tight. Two. Here we go. Now we're going to add on. Step back. Sit on your box. Roll back. We're going to add a hop to this. Oh, boy. We're going to roll up. Nod the chin. Lift it up. Come all the way up. Find your squat. Step out. Step in. And hop. 
sit down. Roll back. Whoo! Arms up. Now the chin around the spine. Lift it up. Find your squat. Step out. Step in. And hop. Sit down. Roll it back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lift it up. Find your squat. Step out. Step in. And hop. Three more. Sit down. Roll it back. Lift it up. Reach with those arms. Find prayer. Step out. Step in. And hop through those toes. Sit down. Roll it back. Two more. Exhale. Nod the chin. Lift it up. Find prayer. Step out. Step in. And hop. One more. Whew, we're going to just hop in a minute. Oh, boy. Up in that cardio. I told you to be ready for that cardio. Hands to prayer. Out. In. Just a straight hop right here. Right here for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Hold tension on your band. Two. Last one. And bring it all the way up. Whew. Oh, boy. Okay. Turn around and face your box. We are going to keep the band on the feet for just a moment. We're going to do a quick mountain climber. Then it's coming back up to the thighs. So hands on your box. You're going to walk your toes back. Find your plank. Whew. Right? If you need a moment, grab that water now. Okay. From here, this is a slow mountain climber. So your hands, wrists under shoulders, spread the collarbone wide. Your body is a plank, even though we're not all the way down on the floor. It's a modified plank up on this box. I want you to really think about keeping that body nice and straight. My right knee is going to pull in to tap the box. I've still got that band around my feet, so hold that resistance and then bring it back. Left knee pulls in to tap and pause. Send it back. Right knee in. One, two. Send it back. Left knee in. One, two. Send it back. Right knee in, one, two, send it back. Left knee in, one, two, send it back. Notice my hips, they are not wiggling, right? My shoulders square to the box. Find that pause every time. One, two, send it back. Knee, one, two, send it back. Now, these are your last ones just like this. Left knee. Send it back. Now your right knee is going to pull in and you're going to hold it and you're going to send that knee down the box and up the box. Pull it up. Down the box and up the box. Down the box and up the box. So you're pulling that belly button up for four, whew, for three, for two. Last one. And send it back. Your other knee will be done on the other side. Okay, so give it a break for a second. Come back in. That band is coming up above the knee, around the outer thigh, okay? About one inch above the knee. Don't bring it too high, because then it's going to be a skirt, okay? It's got no purpose right there. Now, my right foot is going to be on the box. I promise you we're getting back to this guy in just a second. All right, right foot is on the box. I call these box hoppers. So, you want to put your weight into your right foot. Come onto the ball of your left foot, which is on the floor. Your left arm, we're going to do those runner arms again. My left elbow is up. My right elbow is back. I am going to hop on my right leg. I'm going to drive up to the box and hop. My left knee will pull up. Looks like this. And back down. Lift and hop. Set it down. Lift and hop. Set it down. So you are driving up through that right leg. Okay, you're gonna feel that right leg a lot. I want you to think about the left psoas, pulling that left knee up in front of the hip. Pull it up. So that left knee drives forward. Good. Hang on. Toes are light when they hit the floor. You've got six, five, four. Make sure your knee stays behind those toes. Three. Good, you've got two. Good, last one. Now right here, keep your weight in the box. We're going to stabilize. This right leg is going to be stable and isometric. We're going to drive that left knee in and out. Here we go, in and out. Just like a little running man right here. That knee comes in and out, no more hop. My right leg stays bent. Okay, it's isometric right there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, 
and bring it all the way down. Woo, the heart rate, right? We feeling it? I feel it. All right, you guys, coming back onto the carriage. Keep the band around your thighs. Switch your springs. One yellow. All right, now if you don't have a yellow, you got to go with that blue. All right? Do the best you can right here. You might not want to do the single sided option when we do it, so I'll speak to that. One yellow on. If you don't have a yellow, it's one blue. You're going to turn rear facing. Knees against those shoulder blocks. So I've already got tension on the band because my knees are hip width. I'm going to bring my hands to the uh, frame and I'm going to crawl back to get my hands on my risers. Okay, so hands on your risers. Now, once you get there, I want you to hover your sits bones over your heels, okay? So we're not seated. I want you to lift up and hover. Roll your shoulder blades down the back of your rib cage. They wrap and hug your ribs. Make your collarbone wide, no shoulders by the ears. Core, nice and engaged. Belly button pulled up in between the ribs. From here, we're gonna extend those arms nice and straight. We're gonna row, okay? So you're gonna bend your elbows and spiral the bicep forward as you pull the carriage towards the rear. Inhale, extend it back. Spiral the bicep forward as you pull. So when I say spiral the bicep, I want you to rotate the inside of your elbow forward as you pull in. Okay, because I want you to get into that tricep. I want you to get into the back of the arm. I want you to get into that shoulder and back body. Okay, rotate. Pull that lat muscle all the way through the back. Good, you're here for six. Pull. Now this is centered, right? But we are going to go single-sided, single arm. If you are on a blue, it might not feel good to you today to do that. So stay right here. If it doesn't feel good, you're here for three more like this. Inhale, extend it back. Last two. Inhale, extend it back. Last one. Now extend it all the way back. Bring your right arm behind your low back. Okay, square off your shoulders. Exhale, spiral that bicep forward, pull. Inhale, release. You're holding one, two, right? Pull, hold, one. Two, release. You've got four more. Pull, one, two, release. You've got three more. Make that core tight. It helps you. Hold, one, two, last two. Pull, one, two, release. Guys, this is your last one. Pull, one, two, and slowly release. Now bring your right hand back to the riser. Left hand comes behind that low back. Continue your hover. Re-engage through the core. Reset if you need to. Shoulders away from the ears. You're going to pull. Spiral that bicep forward. Hold. One, two. Release. Five more. Pull and hold. One, two. Release. Good. Last four. Pull. One, two. Release. Whoo. Last three. Pull. One, two. Release. Last two. Pull. One, two. Ooh, I'm shaking. Last one. Pull. One, two. Slowly release. Now don't go anywhere. Bring your left hand back to the riser, guys. I'm going to have you do one pull through center and hold it. One pull and hold. Now you're going to pulse. One inch out, one inch in. One inch out. Now I don't want you to just think about your elbow. I want you to think about your back. Think about your back. What do you feel right there as you slowly release? Keep those ribs closed. Keep that belly button pulled up and in for eight. For seven. For six. Good. Last five. Keep that collarbone really wide. Four. Good. Last three. You've got two. And last one. And walk it all the way back. Hands to the frame. Slowly guide yourself all the way back. All right, guys, box is coming up. Box is coming up to the middle, or to long box. Long box on your carriage. Now, you can have it over the shoulder blocks or in front. Your choice, it's fine either way. I've got mine in front of my shoulder blocks because that's the way mine fits best. And I have a long carriage, so do that if you can do that. Have one blue on. So remove your yellow. It's one blue. 
Okay, you are gonna keep the band around your thighs. You are gonna come prone onto this box. Okay, so all the way on your stomach. I want you to make sure, don't worry about the jump board. I'm gonna get it out of your way. Now, your chest should be off the front edge of the box. Okay, so I've got that solar plexus right at the crease or right at the edge of that box. I'm gonna open my knees wide, the width of the box. My instep of my feet are gonna be together and they are gonna stay together. I'm gonna choke my ropes. Okay, so I'm somewhere around that metal piece on each side. Whew, okay, right here. I'm gonna engage the core. I'm gonna pull that belly button up and in. My eyes are on my well. I'm not trying to look up, I'm looking straight down. We're gonna pull these ropes back and lift the knees, okay? So we're finding a back extension here. On your inhale, all right, let's, let's prep on our inhale. So let's take an inhale first. Exhale, pull the strap back, lift the knees, keep the instep of the foot together, and then slowly release. So range of motion through the low half of the body is not gonna be big. Lift and slowly release. Whew, so it's an exhale. We're gonna bring those arms back, lift the knees, press the instep of the foot together. You're gonna feel that glute engage quite a bit on all sides. <laughs> Good, pull it in. A little bit more on that glute meat. Good, that side booty. Last four, pull and engage. Good, and slowly release. Last three, guys. The speed at which we move through this and these pauses, they are critical. Critical. I can't emphasize enough how important the pause is. Pause right here with me. And release. Let's go two more. Pull on that exhale. Hold. And release. Inhale. Good. One more. We're going to pull and hold. And now right here, we're going to pulse those legs up. Up. For eight. For seven. For six, for five, for four, last three, last two, hold it up. Now, can you pulse your knees open? Pulse your knees open. I know it feels a little weird. Hang on with me. You're here for eight, for seven. Arms are shaking. Six, five, four. You got this. Three, two, one. And slowly release it. Oh, hang up your straps. That was our quick midway. We got to bring the box down on the other side. So step off to your right. Okay. Bring the box all the way down on the floor. Line it up with your carriage. And here we go. Here we go again. Other side. Okay. All right. So where did we start? Let's make sure I don't. We're box hoppers. Keep the band around your thighs. This time, your left foot is going to be up on the box, okay? Whoo, it's a sweaty one today. All right, all right, you guys. So from here, shift your weight into the box. You are on the ball of your right foot. So I'm elevated right there. I'm already hinged forward. So I've got a nice long line down the back of my body. Right arm, for, right elbow up, left elbow back. We're going to hop. So it's a drive of the right knee and a hop up. Drive of the right knee, hop. Drive and hop. Good. So find your midway, find your midline here. Okay, balance is tricky, especially since we're shaky <laughs> already. Good. Your knee is pulling up in front of that hip, and that's the job of the psoas. On the right side, that suspender muscle. Pull it up there. Whew. I'm losing my balance on this side. We got six. Good. You've got five. Good. Four. Three. Good, two, one, now right here, weight in the box, drive the knee in and out, in and out, in and out, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way down. Who is a quick burner? Right, quick heart rate burner. So coming into those mountain climbers, we're gonna move the band down to our feet. Okay, arches of the feet. Here we go. You're gonna bring your hands onto the box, shoulder width apart. We're gonna walk our feet back. Nice strong plank. Okay, even though we're elevated. Collarbone wide, belly button pulled up and in. Here we go, slow climber. Your left knee pulls in to tap the box. Hold, one, two. Send it back, right knee, one, two. Send it back, left knee, one, two. 
Send it back, right knee. One, two. Send it back, left. One, two. Woo! Nothing's moving, right? No twisting. We're not shaking side to side. You're here for six. Woo! Five. Four. Good, you've got three. Last two. One now, right knee holds in. No, sorry, not right knee, left knee. Left knee holds in, hold. Slide that knee. Down the box, pull it up. Down, pull it up. So notice I'm allowing the center of my body to dip. And then I pull it up strong with that belly button. Dip and pull. Dip and pull. For eight. Whew. For seven. Good. Six. You're almost there. Five. Don't let it go. You've got four. Pull it up. Three. Pull it up. Two, last one, and walk your feet all the way in. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, you guys, we're going on our back. Those banded roll-ups, keep the band around your feet. Turn to face the rear. You're going to lie down on your back. I'm going to adjust my microphone. As you do that, here we go. Okay. Lie all the way down, tailbone at the front edge of the box. Okay, feet stay connected to the floor for this one, not at the dead bug yet. Arms come up and over the chest. We're gonna roll up to a squat, so here we go. Exhale, nod the chin, round the spine, pull it up. Stand, hands come to prayer. Step out with your right foot, step in, sit down, roll back. Woo! Exhale, curl, lift it up, prayer palms. Shift your weight out and in. Sit down, roll it back. Here we go, six, prayer palms, out, in, sit down, roll it back. You've got five more here, roll it up, step out with the right, step in with the right, sit down, roll it back. We got four, bring it up, prayer, out, in, sit down, roll it back, last three, roll it up, good, out, in, sit down with control, roll it back slow. Last two, lift it up. Whew. Step out, step in, sit down, roll it back. Last one, we're gonna stay up there. Find your squat, out with the right, in with the right. Out with the right, in with the right. Out and in, out and in. You're here for eight, Whew. seven, We've got six. We're going to add that roll back in. In five. Good. You've got four. Last three. Good. You've got two. Last one. Find your roll again. Sit down on the box. Roll back. Okay, here we go. Roll it up. Reach those fingertips. Find prayer. Step out. Step in and hop. Sit down. Roll it back. Whew. Roll it up. Find prayer, in, out, in, hop, and down, four more. Just like that, reach it up. Here we go, step out, step in, and hop. Sit down, three more. Whoo, you can do this, roll it up. Find prayer, out, in, and hop, last two. Roll it back, reach those palms, lift it up. Prayer, out, in, Hop, last one, sit down, roll it back, lift it up, Whew, there's my mic, roll it back and in and hop. Now just that straight hop, just that straight hop right here for eight, seven, six, five, hold tension on your band, four, three, two, and last one, and bring it all the way up. Whew. Goodness, guys, my mic doesn't want to stay with me today because I'm so sweaty. Goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Right from here. Bring the band, or actually, I'm sorry, keep the band around your feet. We're going to do that dead bug. I just wanted to double check. Okay. Roll down. Back on that box. Whew. We'll let the heart rate come down a little bit. Okay. Arms up over the chest, fingertips. Long, palms in. Knees over your hips. Flex those feet. Have tension on your band. Okay. You want to make sure your knees are over your hips, 
Okay, hip width apart. All right, here we go. We're gonna find one ab curl. So on your exhale, curl and hold. Space between your chin and chest, hold it there. Now, only my right leg and my left arm, okay? So on your inhale, we're gonna keep the left knee over the hip. Right leg extends, reach, press through that band and bring it back. Good, reach, press through the band. Keep that knee over your, left knee over your hip and bring it back. Woo, we got six. Press, pause, find that pause every time. You've got five, press. Good, bring it back. You've got four, press. Good, bring it back. Last three, press. Woo, hang on to that ab curl. Last two, and bring it back. Next one is a hold. Reach and hold. Now, like a suitcase, you're gonna bring the two halves of your body a little closer together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower it all the way down. Whoo! Oh my goodness. Okay, come on up. Ah, my God. Okay, the band. Let me make sure. I don't want to forget anything at all. Okay, the band is coming up around your thighs again, right? Yes, okay. I have to make sure because, you know, I flow so fast through some of this sometimes. I'm always afraid if I don't write it down, I'm going to forget something. Okay, so we're going to do that lat pull on that one side. Right arm perpendicular, right forearm is perpendicular to the body at that front edge of the box. I'm still rear facing. My knees are under my hips. I'm gonna grab my strap with my left hand and I'm gonna choke up on it. Okay, now, it, keep that left arm long and extended. Let's extend the right leg all the way out like a bird dog. That right big toe is gonna tap the floor now. It's gonna stay right there. I'm gonna square off my pelvis, square off my shoulders. Tighten my core, because on my exhale, I'm gonna row my left elbow in and lift my right leg straight up and extend. Good, and drop that leg. Row and lift and release. Whoo, row and lift and release. Now on that row, I want you to remember that spiral forward of the bicep that I talked about or the inside elbow. Spiral through that left arm. Whoo, pull. Good, and reach. Good, you've got six. Hang on, you've got this. Last five. Whoo! Good, you guys, keep the hips square. Four. You could always be on your right hand as well. Okay, I'm trying to give that arm a break because we jump next. Last three. Whoo! Good, you guys, last two. We're on that right hand when we jump next, so make sure you take it easy on that right wrist. On your next one, you're gonna hold your row and hold your lift, hold. Now my big toe, tap and lift for eight, and lift for seven, and lift five, or oh, six, sorry. <laughs> there we go, five. Good, you've got four, last three, and two, last one, and bring it all the way out. Whoo! Oh my goodness, come on up. Hang up that strap, okay. Want to make sure. <laughs> we are going to jump, yes. Okay, so um, let's go on the box. Keep the band around your thigh. Sorry, on the carriage. You keep that blue spring on. You're going to kneel rear facing. Okay. You can tell I'm tired when I say um. <laughs> okay. Left hand is going to come between your shoulder blocks. Right hand is going to be on the edge of the carriage. So you're over towards the right side. Right leg is gonna jump, okay? So right foot comes to the jump board, lengthen all the way out. Whew, okay, breathe. Square off your shoulders. Shoulder blades wrap the ribs. Belly button's pulled up and in. Pelvis is level. We're gonna soften the right knee, take it out for a little hop. Okay, so full range of motion jumps on that right side. All right, now we've got those hydrants in here. Okay, right now I just want you to find that straight jump. Make sure that left knee is under your hip, so don't be afraid. I just made an adjustment in my body. Don't be afraid to make an adjustment. 
Okay, now we're gonna add that pulse up. So as you jump in air, pulse up and land. You're finding connect the connection with that glute and that hamstring right there, pulsing up from that glam line. Okay, eight, good, we've got seven. We've got six, we're gonna add the hydrant in. In five, whoo, in four. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. Last one, now bring it all the way in. Let that right knee come under your hip. And now we're gonna do some fire hydrants right here. Lifting that leg, that right leg out to the side. Inner thigh shines down for six. Good, for five. Last four, ankle and knee lift together. Last three, we're gonna combine both moves. All right, on your next one, you're gonna bring it down, connect the foot back to the jump board. Lengthen out that right leg. Soften the knee, bend and pulse. Bend and pulse, bring it all the way in. Two fire hydrants, one. Whew. Keep the pelvis quiet, two. Connect the foot, lengthen out. Bend the knee and jump and pulse. Jump and pulse. Bring it all the way in, knee under hip, two hydrants. You got four more just like that. Connect the foot, lengthen out. Bend and hop. Bend and pulse. Bring it in, two hydrants. One, you got this, two, three more. Lengthen out, whoo. Bend and pulse. Bend and pulse, still connecting that heel, right? Every time, two hydrants, whoo, two. Good, you got two more, guys. Lengthen out, bend and pulse, bend and pulse. Good, bring it all the way in, two hydrants, one, two. All right, we got one more just like that. Lengthen out, bend and pulse, bend and pulse. Bring it in, two hydrants. Guys, we just got that bird dog. Oh, we can do it. Connect that foot. Lengthen out, hold. Lengthen your left arm. Here we go. Oh boy, bend that right knee and hop. Take it slow. Take it slow. Less is more here, guys. Take it slow to start. As you jump more, it'll start to connect. It'll start to click. Keep your pelvis level for four, for three, for two, Let's add the pulse. Ooh, there we go, see that? Add the pulse up. Good, it's more about length than it is about height. Okay, six. Good, you've got this for five. Last four. Good, you've got three, two, last one, and bring it all the way in. Oh, my goodness, today is a day, <laughs> all right. We're gonna do that single leg driver, so you're gonna scooch back to your box. Keep your band around your thigh, all right? You know, if you had it on the other side, you have to have it now, I'm sorry. Add your yellow spring back on, so a blue and a yellow. This is where if you don't have a yellow, you'd want your red, okay? One red, otherwise you're on a blue and yellow, okay? Hands are gonna wrap the front edge of the box. Your instep of the right foot is gonna come to the shoulder block. Toes point in, okay? So I'm externally rotated through my right leg. Keeping my left knee under my hip on the box. Keeping the core engaged in the pelvis level. We're gonna inhale as we drive the right leg out. Exhale, bring it back slow. Inhale, drive. Exhale, bend. Good, you got this. Extend and bring it back slow. Extend and bring it back slow. Six, whoo, last five. Good, you're gonna feel both butt cheeks here. Four, good. And those triceps, right? Because we've been on your arms now for two sequences. Last three, good, you've got two. Keep those elbows soft though. Try not to lock out if you have a tendency to lock out. On your next one, hold. Bend one inch and extend one inch. Bend one inch, extend one inch for eight. Whew, seven, doesn't last forever, right? Six, we can do this. Last five, good, you've got four. Last three, last two, last one. Bring it all the way back, don't go anywhere. Oh, just hit the reset button, okay, here we go. That left arm, 
Bird dog, okay, left arm extends. Right hand is still on the box. Okay, from here, same thing. You're gonna drive with the right leg. Bring it back slow. Drive it strong. Bring it back slow. I want you to think about driving from your right waistline. Okay, six. Good, you can do this for five. Good, you've got four. Last three, press. Good, you've got two. We just have our pulse. Hold your next one strong. One inch in and out for eight, for seven, Whew. for six, for five, last four, and three, last two, last one. Oh my goodness, bring it in. Oh, okay. Whew. <laughs> this is my second reformer workout for the day, so I think I'm feeling it. I think this is what this is. Okay, box steppers, okay? So come back to the back side of your box. Band is still around your thighs, okay? Take a moment. <laughs> We're gonna step up both feet. All right, now you're gonna come over to the left side of the box. Your right foot, okay, is gonna stay on the, actually, let's see, we're gonna do the step up first, so I forgot. Both feet on the box. Right foot stays on, we're gonna have those runner arms. So left elbow up, right elbow back. You're gonna step down with your left foot, connect the ball of the foot, and pick up the right foot, and then step up, drive the knee. Step back, pick up the right foot off the box, and come up, drive the knee. Step back, so it's kinda like when we did the hop, right? But now we're not hopping, we're just stepping. So we reversed it on this side. You're feeling the work in reverse. Okay, it's not bad. It's different. You're getting equal work, right? We're just shifting it around a little bit. Circled all the way around the body. Good. Last four. Whew. Think about that left psoas pulling up the knee. Good. Three. Two. Good, you guys. Last one. Stay up there. Now, you're going to bring that left foot all the way back down, but I want you to get closer to the left edge because that left foot has to dangle off. Both feet are flexed, right? The right one, because you're standing on it, and the left foot's dangling there, and you are flexing it sincerely. Bring your palms together for prayer, okay. We're gonna find that single leg squat on the right leg. Level out your pelvis right here. You're gonna dart those arms forward as you tilt the torso and reach the hips back. So you're reaching that right sitting bone back for your heel, okay, and then we come up Strong lateral lift on that left leg. Reach for that single leg squat. Reach, 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 reach. Come all the way back up. Hold. Press your palms together. Lateral lift. So you're leading with your ankle bone. That left ankle bone. Good. Now when you go for that single leg squat, something that helps me hold balance, that instep of the left foot glazes the box as I reach back with my hips. I come forward, or I come up, and lateral lift. Good, four more. Reach, whoo, and lift, lateral lift. Good, last three. Reach back with those sitting bones. Keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight. You're going as deep as you can right there. Lift, good, last two. Ah. Good, pull it up. Who knew this was gonna be such a sweaty one, right? I hope you're sweating on your end. Good, on your next one, we're gonna pull up for that lateral lift and we're gonna do only the lateral lift. So flex that foot sincerely, pelvis is level. Press your palms together. My right knee is soft, not locked out. Good, you're here for six, lift. Good, for five, ooh, for four. Good, three, last two. All right, last one. Now, keep that leg there. Point the toe to sweep it forward to the front edge of the box. You're gonna clock sweep it around to the back, tap the box. Around, tap the front. Semi-circle, ooh, to the back, I hit the wall. <laughs> and hit the back of the box. So if you have a wall there, that's not cool, right? <laughs> but try to just glaze the wall. Good, and come back around. Keep that right knee soft. Balance, stability, right from the core, telling the pelvis to be quiet. Good, you're here for six. You can do this. Good, last five. Woo, lost my balance. Good, four, 
Circle it around. Last three. Ah. <sighs> Good. We just got that plie. Two. Guys, we're ending with upper body jumps. On your next one, you're gonna tap the front of the box, bring the leg back under the hip, flex the foot again. Now, single leg plie. So this time, we don't tilt forward like we did on that squat. We keep the sternum aligned over the pubic bone, and we lift with our right inner thigh, pulls up like a suspender strap along the right side of the spine. It's that psoas for six, for five, for four, Good, last three, pull that belly button tight. Last two, last one, ah, and bring it all the way down. Holy moly, okay, take the band off. Guys, this is your last set, last sequence. Oh, thank gosh. <laughs> okay, come on to your carriage. Oh, I'm feeling it with you. Okay, take off your blue, extra light spring. Again, if you don't have an extra light, go with the blue. Do the best you can. Okay, this is a short sequence. It's the end. We're wrapping it all up. That band is coming around the forearms because, you know, it has to. It hasn't been there much. Okay, so for this, very important, guys, I want your kneecaps off the front edge of the carriage. So your kneecap is not on the carriage. It is hanging off the front edge over the springs. Okay, the rest of your shin is connected. My knees are under my hips, so they are hip width apart. My hand, I'm gonna hover back my hips, so I'm gonna stay tall, right? Sternum over pubic bone. Reach your sitting bones back for your heels. Hover, just like we did on that lat pull back there. Hands come to the uh, jump board, and we're gonna lengthen out the arms. Okay, now, I would like you to get your whole hand on the jump board if you can. If that is too much flexibility on the wrist, you can bring the heel of your hand to the top and fingertips off, but I want you to try for full hand connection if you can, okay? Because we're gonna think about our hands just like we do our, as our feet on jumping. So right from here, we're gonna keep the hover, we're gonna tighten the core, roll the shoulders down and back, broaden the collarbone. On your exhale, you're gonna bend those elbows. Inhale, roll through the fingertips, take it out for a hop. Good, now you're gonna keep tension on that band as you hop right here. If you don't want the band, you can ditch it right now. Okay, and just for, do this whole thing without the band. Good, now, we are gonna add a rise up, but I want you to stay right here because I want you to think about when you rise up through the hips, I want you to think more about your inner thighs than you do about your quads and your glutes. All right, so those suspender muscles, we're gonna think about that right there. Those so, that psoas is gonna pull up like suspenders in four. Good, last three, inhale out, exhale to land, last two. Whew, good, this is a nice reset right here. Good, now on your next one, you're gonna rise up, keep the arms chest height, pulse out on your band and land. Rise and pulse out, so that was a lot, right? That was a big switch. I want you to think about opening up the front of your hips, open them completely, make them flat. Yes, now when you pulse out on your band, your palms rotate in. That is also very important. My palms are facing the, care, the jump board, and then they rotate to face in when I pulse out. Okay, so I pulse out with the top of my forearm. Whoo! All right, you guys, this is it. This is your ending sequence. This is our last layer. You're here for eight. Good, you've got seven. Good, last six. Good, you've got five. Are we thinking about those inner thighs? I hope so. Last four. Good, you've got three. Ha! Ah, last two. Last one. And bring it all the way in. And, oh, take off the band. Thank goodness, <laughs> right? We're gonna lie down on our back. Before you do that, please add your blue spring on. So you have a blue and a yellow. If you do not have the yellow, please add on one red spring. Okay, lie on your back. Whoo, all the way down on your back. It's gonna feel great. <sighs> okay, we're gonna lengthen all the way out two straight legs. We're gonna reach back and just grab our right loop, okay? Long loop's gonna come around the right foot. Okay, now we're gonna bring that uh, right leg up towards the ceiling. My left knee is gonna bend in towards my chest and I'm gonna take my left ankle over my right thigh. My left ankle over my right, so I'm a figure four. 
I'm gonna bend, connect my tailbone to the carriage. Keep, try to keep your neutral pelvis here. You're gonna bend the right knee, keep your right foot flexed. Okay, now you're in that figure four stretch. Right here, I want you to allow the hips to peel up just a little bit and then pull them back down with your core. Use your core. Lift your tailbone, let the hips roll up a bit and then connect your core, or connect your tailbone. Let the tailbone peel. Connect the tailbone strong. Good, four. Connect the tailbone strong. Good, last three. And connect it. Good, last two. And connect. Last one, now we're gonna hold it connected. Hold the tailbone down. You're gonna extend that right leg up one more time. Now we're slowly gonna bend that right knee back down. Bend, 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 bend. It is heavy for one leg, I know. Hopefully though, that slow bend got that left ankle just a teensy bit closer to your chest to ignite that left glute or really stretch through that left glute. I'm gonna use my left palm to open up my left inner thigh just a little bit for four. For three, last two, good. Now. You're gonna extend the right leg back up to the ceiling. That's the one with the strap. You're gonna take your left ankle away from the left thigh and just hold that left knee into the chest. Now my right leg. I'm gonna lower the right leg down towards the springs and bring it back up with control. Good, lower it back down towards the springs and bring it back up with control. Two more like that. Down to the springs on your inhale. Exhale, bring it back up. <sighs> Last one. Now on this one, when you let that right leg come back up, I want you to allow the weight of the spring to just peel the tailbone just a little bit. Let the leg come as close to the chest as it can. Let that strap pull on the foot. Good, hold that right there. My hips, notice my tailbone, my hips have curled a bit. For four, for three, for two, now connect your tailbone, so you gotta roll back to a neutral pelvis, and let's take off that strap by bending the knee. Good, take that strap back. Okay, other foot. Oop, there goes my strap. <laughs> you have your strap, me find my strap. Okay, I gotta untangle it here. So your left foot now has that strap. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So left long loop around that left foot. Okay, lengthen that leg up to the ceiling. Flex the foot, or don't flex it too much. You don't want to lose your strap, but keep that leg up there. Right knee comes into the chest. Okay, now you're going to take that right ankle across the top of the left thigh. Thigh. Find your neutral pelvis. Okay, hip bone shining up, tailbone connected to the carriage. You're going to bend your left knee. All right, now you're in that figure four. From here, we're going to start with that pelvis tilt. So you're going to allow the tailbone to peel up. Both hips move together, okay? I wanna stress that. Both hips stay together. And then you connect the tailbone by, moving, by working the, the tilt of the pelvis. So we're going into a posterior tilt, okay? Hip bones roll back. And now we're gonna roll the hip bones forward to connect the tailbone. Hip bones roll back. Hip bones roll forward, four more. Hip bones roll back, peeling the tailbone up. Hip bones roll forward. Good, last three. Hip bones roll back. And forward, now I know guys, these stretches always take us over, last two. Obviously, if you don't wanna hang on for the whole stretch, you don't have to, okay? But I like, I sometimes do what feels good at this point. Um, so hopefully it feels good in your body too. Now, keep your tailbone connected right here. You're gonna take that left leg up to the ceiling. Okay, now slowly, slowly, you're gonna bend that knee down. Bend, bend, bend that left knee slow. Hopefully it is slightly pushing. I want you to feel what's happening right here on that right side, that right gluten hip. Now once you get back into that left knee bent position, use your right palm and you're gonna gently press that right inner thigh open. Keep your tailbone connected to the carriage. Keep that neutral pelvis. You're here for four, for three, good, last two. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna take that left leg back up to the ceiling. You're gonna unlace that ankle, pull the right knee into your chest now. Your left leg only is gonna inhale down to the springs and it's gonna exhale back up over the hip. Good, keep your tailbone connected. Down to the springs for three. Exhale, bring it back. 
good. Last two down to the springs. And back up. This feels good, guys, right? I, I don't know about you, but that was a tough one for me today. <laughs> I felt it every sequence. That's why you heard me complaining so much. <laughs> good. On your next one, guys, you're going to allow the weight of the strap to pull that leg up or back, I should say. Allow it to pull it back. Let your hips, let your tailbone peel up on this one and release the back of the leg so you can feel that stretch right there. Hang on right there for four, for three, last two. Good. Now use the core to connect the pelvis, connect the tailbone. Good. And let's take that left knee into a bent position and bring the strap back and hang it up. Whew. Last thing before I let you go, both feet on the jump board, lengthen out to two straight legs. You're going to take your right knee into your chest one more time. Give it one more hug. Why not? Take that right knee over to the left side, spinal twist, right arm reaches out to the right. Oh my goodness. This feels fantastic. <laughs> Good. Hang on. Good. Right here for four. Good. Last three. Oh, last two. Rolling back through center, connecting both hips. Right foot comes back to the jump board. Left knee comes into the chest. Take the left knee over to the right side. Allow your hips to pick up. Twist, spinal twist, right? Left hand reaches out to the left. Look at your left hand. Hold that twist for four, for three, last two. Coming all the way back through center. Both feet on the jump board. Come all the way in, hug both knees, give yourself a little rock, side to side. Okay, and I lied one more tiny thing because I know it's going to be great. Come on up, flip over, four point kneel. We're going to do a little cat cow and then I will let you go. Okay, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, right from here. We're going to exhale, nod the chin, round the spine, pull the tailbone under the body. Inhale, look up, let the tailbone wag up. Two more. Exhale, round and curl. Enjoy this right here, guys. Enjoy this release. You deserve it. You earned it. That was a hard workout. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, release. Come back to your flat back. And you guys are all done. You're all set. Okay, we even got cardio in there today. Woo! Nice job. All right, you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it, right? I know not every move is for everybody, but I'm hoping for the most part you enjoyed that workout. You always let me know, right? I want you to let me know in the comments. It allows me, if you tell me what you like and what you want, it allows me to bring you that exact thing to the YouTube channel, all right? So don't be afraid to tell me. I like those comments. They help me create for you. Um, we do have Live Reformer that happens once a week. It's currently happening on Sunday mornings. They happen at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is a live Zoom group that I work with privately. Okay, so if you're interested in joining that group, we have a ton of fun and a ton of laughs um, and, and lots, of, lots of talking, right? We, we talk before and after class um, and a lot of good questions come out. So if you're a person that has modifications that are needed, you've had injuries in the past, or you're just working on getting deeper into your practice, um, this is a really good way to connect on a deeper level. So if you're interested, please send me a direct message on social media. I'm just be fit on Instagram and Facebook, so you can find me that way. Or you can email me. I do have a website, justpfit.com, and there's a contact button right there. So please reach out and I will send you all that information. We also are currently holding a live Matt Pilates class on Saturday mornings. Those happen twice a month. So you can ask me about that as well. Uh, please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. If you have not hit that subscribe button, which I hope you already have, but if you haven't, please do that. I bring you new workouts usually once a week. That is the goal. All right. I will see you guys next time. Nice job.